Every summer, the University of Arizona has an amazing program called the Cat Vehicle RU. This is where undergraduates from all over the U.S. can learn and work with an actual self-driving car. Oh, I'm Yesenia, by the way. And this was my experience. My summer in this program, I teamed up with another fellow undergraduate under the guidance of the skilled faculty to research how an autonomous vehicle can travel from point A to point B without hitting any obstacles. It was enriching to learn about the mechanics that make this technology possible, especially when there was something new I could bring to the table. You see, we don't just learn how it all works, we find flaws in the way things are done today and improve on it. With my project, researchers have been known to use a model predictive control as a means of controlling the car, or should I say, to give the car some self-control. This is done using a single predictive model that calculates many possible paths the car could take to reach its destination. The model predictive control would choose the best of these paths. One predictive model could work really well under certain driving situations, such as on a road with wide turns, but would perform poorly when in city streets when many sharp turns are required, whereas a different predictive model would do the opposite. So it's fair to say that we shouldn't rely on a single predictive model as many researchers have done thus far. We should use enough of them working together to ensure that the vehicle travels the best possible path for all typical driving scenarios one might face. Well, this is the concept of the hybrid model predictive control that was my project. Throughout the summer, I was able to implement the project in simulation of an autonomous vehicle going through an obstacle course. You can see how the car navigates around these obstacles gracefully in order to reach its destination, and it does so by using the hybrid model predictive control, switching between different predictive models when necessary. Once the simulation was able to perform successfully, implementing the control on the self-driving car was next. Nothing brought more joy than to see the project come to life. It really felt as if the work was paying off. The vehicle was able to reach its destination while avoiding obstacles and all on its own. But it wasn't all just work. There was enough time for fun too. Arizona is such a beautiful state and that just added to the magic that was the summer. I had a great time and it's all thanks to the cafe for you.